do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that, we are studying topic ARC or AIDS related complex. Now when I talk about ARC or AIDS related complex, it means a full blown AIDS. It's a confirmation that the person has got AIDS. Let's study about the symptoms of ARC. When I talk about ARC or AIDS related complex, it includes all the symptoms and all the signs which give a confirmation that the person has got AIDS. Now one of the first confirmations of full blown AIDS or ARC is vasting syndrome. When I say vasting syndrome, it means sudden drastic weight loss which is almost irreversible. Secondly, Kaposi sarcoma, the white red color patches formed at the lower back of your body and in the back of your body which are quite big and evident. Diarrhea could be there, there could be CNS or cerebral, cerebral food could be infected, the fluid that holds the part of your brain or CNS infections can occur. Apart from that, there could be persistent and recurrent fever which is continuously in your body. Herbs, herpes could infection could arise in your body. Along with that, your lymph nodes, especially the neck region and the lower back region of your body could be inflamed. The lymphatic tissue could be inflamed because lymphatic tissue flows around your body, around your open circulatory system and which could inflame in HIV patient. Now all the symptoms which we are talking about are almost irreversible in full blown AIDS patient and the only thing that time a patient can do is find a cure for the ongoing symptoms because now the HIV virus has gained entry, it is it's its full form using reverse transcriptase, making its machinery and it's going to grow large, more in number and going to break down your immune system or immune cells which makes you more anoroxic, more less energy less, you become more prone to the disease, more giving up, your anxiety levels increase, you become more tired, stressed out, all such are symptoms. ARC or AIDS related complex. Now when I talk about ARC or AIDS related complex, it means those symptoms which are very similar or which are very drastic and fully blown AIDS patient would have an ARC complex or a group of symptoms which are very common in AIDS patient which have reached its top. Now swollen lymph nodes that are found around neck, armpit, groin and that would persist or which would retain for more than 3 months are a sign of AIDS, full blown AIDS. There's persistent or recurrent fever with night sweats and the person sweats profusely day and night. There is persistent cough and this cough would include yellowish color secretions every now and then and that is never associated with cold or cough. You never have cold or flu at that time, it's just persistent dry cough. Infections could occur to the cerebrospinal fluid, especially to the central nervous system. Disorders in thinking, anxiety, tiredness are all such symptoms.
a full-blown AIDS patient once a symptomatic carrier is over a full-blown AIDS patient is seen now a full-blown AIDS patient it represents an irreversible breakdown of the immune system or immune cells and once that happens a patient will have HIV in its maximum or its speediest form now in that case it would be a severe weight loss and this severe weight loss would be half reduction of the weight that a person is currently having which is termed as vasting syndrome once that happens the patient would become a victim of opportunistic pathogen which you and me would be okay to fight for they are prone to have an infection from it could be tuberculosis tb kaposi sarcoma the red color patches on the back of the body mycobacterium yellow fever all such diseases could be deadly for such patients even students ultimately within few months after an AIDS patient has got this diseases that a patient is not going to survive and eventually they will die there are many treatments that are available for AIDS patient but these treatments cannot cure the HIV virus or reverse transcriptase function what they can do is if an individual has got an infection due to AIDS that infection can be cured or brought to a certain point so that the patient can buy some more time for themselves AIDS is never curable it's only a little time span that you came through this medicines and survive for a little time period. Once a full-blown AIDS is there and you get some major disease, you're eventually to die and your system is going to give up, even your immune cells. Students, I hope you all are very clear about this concept. Thank you.